These new cell phones, the iPhone 17, it has Bluetooth 6, the latest, Ooh. greatest, all sorts of cool things in it. So Mike, what devices actually support Bluetooth 6? <laughs> not many. I mean, it came out in 2024. There's not a lot of, I mean, I don't think Samsung smartphones even support Bluetooth 6 yet. AirPods don't support Bluetooth 6 yet. Yeah. So the, the iPhone, all the iPhone 17s have Bluetooth 6. Yes. The new Google Pixel 10 has Bluetooth 6. Nice. But no Samsung phone has it yet. Like, right. This, this is It's like, expensive. It's new. Yeah. And it doesn't lend that much. Depends what your use cases are. It's not going to make your headphones better. It's not going to make your audio sound crisper. Um, but what it is, it's future-proofing your new phones. Six is mostly for more proximity awareness and right. security. So the new AirTags use it, right? Yes. So it, so it yes. can tell actually tell how far away it is with Bluetooth. This is for unlocking your car. Previous in Bluetooth 5, if you were in a parking lot, it would say, hey, you're close to the car. Bluetooth 6, you have to be right on your door. It knows you're 50 centimeters away and it, it'll unlock you. So high-end stuff. Not a lot of low-end stuff. So all this fancy stuff built into the phone, the Bluetooth 6, it's very hard to use. The AirPods don't have it. No, AirPods are still right. on 5, 3, 5, 4, depending on what generation you have. So even when you have a new Bluetooth device, it's Bluetooth 6, it's going to negotiate the lowest common denominator for the protocol. Speaking of Apple. Yeah, yeah. So I hear people say a lot that Apple cheats with their Bluetooth. They have their own protocol for better audio that they just jam through there, the AAC. And actually, I think with Bluetooth 6, they finally added it to the standard. So now they're not cheating. <laughs> Apple never goes with the standards. Apple is on all the standard committees, but in order to get what Apple wants, which is deliver the highest possible environment for a user, they have to make their own. And if they did the standards committee and waited for Bluetooth 6 to come out, the standards committee always goes to the lowest common denominator. So whatever the lowest is, they're gonna put that out, the features can wait. For Apple, go ahead and inside your AirPods, there's their own audio processors, their own audio codecs. They control it. I mean, they're in their own ecosystem, which is why you're in Apple land, but a lot better. And I mean, in defense, the, the AirPods, if they realize they're talking to someone that doesn't mm -hmm. speak their fancy thing, they fall back and do the Bluetooth. regular audio yep. from the exactly. Bluetooth standard. So it all works, but it works better mm -hmm. if you have an iPhone, right? You do get better audio out of these. And sometimes the standards can go wrong, right? Bluetooth had a problem for years. <laughs> well, Bluetooth 3, let's they, forget about they that. They <laughs> put out a version where they, they describe high-definition audio. Mm -hmm. And you could have high-definition microphones and high-definition headphones, but they just forgot to do a profile for high-definition headphones with microphones on them. <laughs> And so for a long time, and now it's all finally fixed, but it took years for yeah. Bluetooth to work all the way through and get enough devices out there. If you were listening to music on your AirPods, people thought there was the imagination. It sounded really good. And then you'd do a call. And then after the call, the music wouldn't sound as good because it had to switch from being high definition headphones to being regular definition headphones with a microphone to do the call because Bluetooth forgot that those could be high definition. It literally, you know, I saw the guy who did it admit it, like, just forgot, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Page 95, he should have added them to the list and he didn't. And so then it was stuck until you, you, know, you had to take them out, put them in the reboot, case, put reboot, them back yeah. in, then it would go back to high definition. Your AirPods are 5.4, your new Bluetooth 6 is going to be 5.4. In fact, I think they're the only devices out where it can connect to your Bluetooth 2.0 headphones and it's a Bluetooth 2.0 2004 device. Even since Bluetooth 2, <laughs> every Bluetooth chip you have actually has a lot of subsystem and a lot of sub chips. So they actually have a Bluetooth 2 system on it, a Bluetooth 3. And there's a lot of dead technical weight that goes along with that. But even those fancy new Amazon headphones you got that are Bluetooth 5.4, they probably only use Bluetooth 4 features, but those chips were the least expensive at the time because they're the ones being produced. And so you still have a lot of fall off between features and what Bluetooth number you have. But they have to, because they are committed. Bluetooth in cars means yes. you have to support the old stuff for 10 years. Yes. You can't put it in a car if it's not gonna work. So whatever Bluetooth it has when it ships, and they tend to not be on the very latest, you're probably buying cars now, Bluetooth 4. Yes. If you've had a car for a few years, you know, it might be Bluetooth 3, but it won't have any of the fancy features of your new phone. So a lot of times these counter, you know, you, the new phone comes out, the new Bluetooth, and it actually does nothing for you mm -hmm. until <laughs> until the phone is two years old, because that's when you get new speakers, new headphones, new this, new that, that come with the new Bluetooth 6 as well, and now you're on the new Bluetooth for real. It's good for this like car type stuff, you know, 10 years later you come mm -hmm. back and it still works because the car says what it's able to do, and if the phones only ask it to do that, it's working. I recently read an article that says CarPlay and Android Auto, if that's what it's called, in mm -hmm. three years might be out of every car, because the automakers are now putting their own software. I know, but it's such a mistake. I agree. 
I, I agree. They're, they're bad as it is, and now they're going to take out the it's two biggest players. It, it is so, CarPlay is so right. It's the same apps that run on your phone. Mm -hmm. they, they're all updating them because they all have so many users on the phone. So you get the updates, right? If it, you just make an app for the Ford car, you're stuck. You're not going to update yeah. it, right? I still don't have CarPlay. <laughs> You really don't. I don't have car, but no, no. Is Apple asking for too much? I mean, are these getting guys getting too much data? But I hope that. Yeah, settles. I think they're more. I don't think Apple is actually asking for anything yet. <laughs> well, right, it's, it's a control thing. Yeah, right? they're gonna wait till everybody's Apple is so taking deep. control of yeah, saying you will do this, you will yeah. not do this. All right, guys, so that's it. Let's go to YouTube, check out our videos. We got a bunch of good ones. Be good, and we'll uh, see you all online.